Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this series of videos, we are working on several labs for AZ900 exam, which is the Microsoft Azure fundamental exam. All these labs are available uh, on the GitHub, and I'll give you the link uh, in the video that I'm doing. Uh, in this particular video, we'll, we'll work on creating a web app. Uh, if you want to look at the previous labs, I already have videos that I created, and you can look at the playlist that that I'm playing right now, you should be able to get all these uh, previous labs. So let's focus on web app in this particular lab. So just like any other lab, web apps, they can come under the app services. So we'll just go there, refresh to log back in to our uh, Azure environment and go to the home. And we're going to search for the app services. That's pretty much most of the time what I do, okay, to get to what, I, what I'm looking for. A very good um, trick. <laughs> so you just click on it. So this gives you the app services uh, uh, pane over here. It looks like I already have a function app that it's running. Uh, I'm just going to create an app right over here. And this time I'm going to create a web app, right? So that's the purpose of this lab. And in this, uh, we're going to say my resource group web app one. So create a new resource group, my resource group web app one. So that's our resource group name. And then name uh, looks like we're going to use a Docker host or Docker container. So let's do a bus. So that is going to be the instance detail and uh, let's see it says since this is says docker so as we guessed properly it's going to be the docker container that we're going to deploy linux and east us is what we're, we're in linux and uh, let's go to east us east us okay so that's what uh, we needed to choose and click next to docker configuration and the container information so from here uh, if you click the next docker is going to asking us to configure the docker container um, a single container docker hub is a public image and microsoft aci hello world that's the image that we're going to use so single container i think quick stories are uh, no single container docker hub so we're going to go to the docker hub public images and tag i'm just going to put Microsoft Azure Hello World. That's the image. It's I think it's a, a Linux machine, Linux container that uh, Microsoft has uh, in the Docker Hub. So let's see, and then we can do review and create and create. So let's do that. It's gonna go through a little bit of uh, validation, and then we can like you can see. You now it looks like the validation is done. Uh, oftentimes it will give you like the validation is successful, but even if it does not, just you get this create button available to you that means it's, it's successful you just click on it and this pane is going to give you what's going on with this deployment same information is also available over here you probably know it by heart if you're watching the videos that I've been doing and as soon as the deployment is done uh, you will have another button available over here and uh, oftentimes over here as well where you can click on the button to go to this uh, resource that we are creating right here uh, let's see let's go back to the lab um, so once this web app is done we'll just go uh, and do some testing with the web app from the notification we'll go to the resource uh, we'll get the URL and once of the URL we'll test the URL and make sure the web app deployment was successful so remember that previously we used this uh, uh, yeah you see like the deployment now is successful here go to resource this button again I keep complaining in all my videos this button should be uh, made uh, you know available to us as well but let's click on this button to go to the particular resource and the resource is the or instance of the resource is the my docker web app abasu it's an app service and in here uh, you see that it's running here is the URL that you can choose 
So and here's the app service plan and here you have some other configurations in here for how it's doing uh, HTTP data, data in, data out, one minute request, average response time, things like that. So uh, let's see what it's doing. So it's still get the URL and pretty much go to there and make sure that it's available to us. So that's all we are doing. So that's pretty easy. So click on it and write there your container instance. So for this lab, this is really all they are asking and it's saying monitor the notifications to see how the delete okay so what they're do, doing they are asking here just delete the resource group when you are done and monitor that uh, uh, your your uh, deletion of the resource group is successful all right so that's the end of the lab just as we are here just take a quick look at what else uh, we can quickly see uh, in this web web app we can look at the activity log um, and diagnostic setting we haven't configured we probably will have a completely separate la uh, lab to uh, configure these diagnostic settings for uh, for web apps so let's go back access control you can assign roles tags we haven't used but you can definitely assign tags for your apps it's using nice blade for diagnose and pro solve problems and it's probably going to give you common problems that you have and uh, you can search for you know different type of problems that you that you may have and the common solution is probably going to give you it's a nice feature uh, security uh, there is no security issue and right now uh, we are I have not upgraded my security center so it's still using the security center free to get the recommendation events is in the preview mode that means not available for the general uh, availability GA uh, but the events you can uh, set up a uh, whole bunch of events using logic app as your functions webhooks or storage queues and under deployment here are some uh, quick starts. You can uh, follow our quick start guide and deploy your first Docker app in minutes. So we can try out in some other time uh, deployment credential. Uh, you can create and configure something over here. Deployment sol. I haven't really worked too much with this. Uh, so here, my Docker web app Abasu. That's the deployment sol. That's the app that is actually running and 100% of traffic is going to that particular instance because we only have one instance that is running. We have a deployment center as well that's available and uh, other than that we have some configuration options that you can uh, look at and uh, here docker registry server password, server url, server username and story all of that stuff you can configure. Uh, there is some more container setting then authentication authorize there are a lot tons of options that uh, you have uh, something else that you probably be doing is scale up or scale out and uh, you know uh, for dev test you can use there are different uh, this is for production you can have isolated environment uh, recommended pricing tiers all of that you can uh, use for scale out you can also have a uh, custom auto scale or a manual auto scale and depending on your auto scale options it will just create new instances uh, to keep your server up and running and uh, some more stuff so we're probably going to come back uh, to this uh, to to the uh, as your web apps and do some more work in the future but just remember that web app function app they are both part of the app service and in a previous video we have created the function app already and we we used it to trigger HTTP uh, type actions and in this lab we have deployed a uh, docker container uh, using the web app feature all right that's the end of this lab uh, just delete the resource group as for the lab requirement so let's go to web app and I'm going to delete resource group and what I'll do I'll copy this and paste this and say delete that will start the deletion 
and I actually don't need the function uh, my RG function the function app that we created I don't need that so I'll copy this one and let's see if I can delete that using a CLI command so this is something else that you also have to learn so let's see if you want to delete a resource group and its contents using CLI what is the command do you think which we, we're gonna run so it's very simple we're gonna run remove and I'm gonna uh, tab and then we'll do AZ for Azure and then for group uh, is the resource okay resource then group and then I'll plus the name of the resource group and that's the resource group that I want to get rid of so that's the command remove AZ resource group name my RG function and I'll, I'll hit enter is asking are you sure you want to remove resource group I'm gonna say why so now it has started deletion of that issues group as well so you have learned a lot of different things in this particular lab uh, even beyond what is required uh, as per this particular lab where you have deployed uh, and created a web app using a docker container so if you're pre preparing for the exam good luck if you like the video give me a, a thumbs up like uh, subscribe leave whatever comment you may have and see you in the next video. Good luck with the exam.